So now in section 4.2, we're actually going to start calculating probabilities and we'll look at odds towards the end. But when it comes to calculating probability, there's three methods that can be employed. And the first one is the classical method, and this is what we'll use the most. It's based on the concept of equally likely events. And this is when each event has the exact same chance of occurring. So for example, um, flipping a coin. In this case, each side has the same chance of landing face up. So whether it's heads or tails, you know, it should be a 50-50 chance unless, of course, the coin's weighted. Um, and then down below, I give an example of something where, you know, you don't have an equally likely chance. When we talk about a vowel occurring in a name, by definition of the English language, all names, all words must contain a vowel. We don't know which vowel. It doesn't have to be, you know, a certain number. But there's a 100% chance in the English language, maybe you can find one for me, or count, not count why is a vowel, but that every word is going to have a vowel in it. But if we were to take a bowl and put all the letters of the alphabet, including the vowels, then they do have an equally likely chance of being selected. There's less of them, so the probability we select a vowel is lower, but this, you know, bowl of, God, how many letters are in the alphabet? <laughs> but this bowl is going to have every letter has the same chance. So the way the classical approach works is when you're interested in the finding the probability of some particular event, what you do is take the number of ways E can occur and divide that by the number of possible outcomes. Now keep in mind, I'm using pound sign to represent number here. I know that so many people are used to it meaning hashtag, but sorry, I'm old school. So this is the general formula that we're gonna use in all cases. So let's go ahead and look at this example below. Consider the event of rolling a die. That means just one dice. Dice is actually plural, meaning two or more. So a die would be a single dice. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to let A be an event where an even number is rolled. So the event that whatever we get, it comes up as an even number. So when I go to use the classical method, I'm going to divide the number of even outcomes by the number of all outcomes. So if we didn't know it, I might need to look at my sample space. The even numbers are two, four, and six, and the all the sides of a die are you know one through six. So I find that there's three ways to get an even, six things that can happen when I roll a die, and my fraction is three sixths. Although, as we mentioned prior, we always want to answer as a percent with one place to the right of the decimal. And so my 0.5 turns into 50%. Since my one place to the right of the decimals is zero, I don't necessarily need to write it. Okay, now when it comes to finding these, I kind of found my sample space um, first. You may need to do that, but it may not be something you know necessarily off the top of your head. So like if we were going to be taking a two-question true-false test, and we wanted to find the probability that the answer was true first and then false second, First, I might need to come up with my sample space, true, 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 false, 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 true. Again, this might be where a tree would help you if you couldn't get that together. Um, but I need to know that there are four events on a two-question true, false test. So now, when I want to find the probability, notice this time I didn't define event, you know, E, event A, to be true first and false second. I actually wrote it in the parentheses. Sometimes we get lazy and do that, so I just wanted you to see that. But when I go to calculate the probability, I need to know how many ways was there to get true, false, first, true first and false, only one way, and how many things were possible for. And so I've got 0.25, which I'll turn into 25%.